Hey guys, welcome back to the Boogeyman. Now oh, I'm supposed to start exploring the castle, I guess. Hmm. I'm assuming this is where most of the plot is going to take place. I still love that name. Hello. Mm -hmm. The plan is to tour the castle in the morning, then go around town in the afternoon. The car will be here to pick us up at one. Ah, so what time does it make lunch? Twelve seems good to me. All right, I'll tell the employees. Seems like that's something he should have had figured out beforehand. Oh, Mr. Baring, here's the menu for dinner tonight. Anything that needs changing? Any allergies? Again, something that... My wife won't eat meat. Can you change the main course? Understood. I'll tell the cook. Will she be all right with fish? Sure. And how about dessert? You have your choice of cheesecake, grass jelly, or creme brulee. What kind of cheesecake is it? Rare. Hmm. She would have liked a baked one. Make it creme brulee then. And tea for after the meal. Chamomile if you can. I'll have the same. Certainly, sir. <laughs> you know your wife's tastes so well. Personally, I'm so forgetful. The other day, I brought some Casablancas home for her, and she told me she hated them. Just have to remember every little detail for next time. Absolutely. Hi, Mr. Baring. Are you enjoying yourself? Take a look anywhere. I don't mind. I know, I know. It's a terribly large place. I'm already lost. There's the dining hall through there is where the storeroom and the people's Oh, okay. That means if I go through here Oh, what a surprise. So this is where you were. Sorry for wandering in here. Oh, no, no. I don't mind. Such a large study, isn't it? I used to play hide-and-seek in here as a kid, and my dad always told me off. I should remember that. So many piles of old, precious books, too. Unfortunately, I don't really know how much they're worth. Is that book about the history of the castle? Ah, you've been doing some reading. A very disturbing history, isn't it? The former lord of the castle was quite a tyrant. He severely taxed the islanders and persecuted anyone who rebelled. There are many odd rooms in this castle, actually. I'm sure they were used for punishment. Eh, but you'll be toured through them tomorrow, so... You said you managed this place yourself. It must be hard. Well, only as of late. I went to film school, actually, and did some work in Hollywood. It wasn't too long ago I returned here. After my parents' death, I inherited the property, you see. Yes, it's a hard job to do alone, especially with all those strange rooms. So I thought I'd promote this place as a tourist destination. I'm not too interested in the castle myself. I'd hate to live out the rest of my days in a deserted place like this. This tour is kind of a test drive, you might say. And CB has been a great help with everything. No need to worry. I'm sure it'll be a hit soon. No, I do hope you're right. <laughs> say, Mr. Baring, you're a detective, right? That's so neat. I love police dramas, and I watch Law and Order all the time. Sorry, but it's not a pretty job. Well, in the eyes of an ordinary citizen who blends into the crowd, I think it's swell. <laughs> I'm jealous. 
Well, I'm jealous that you own a castle. Must attract a lot of girls. <laughs> I wish it would. I'd love to meet a wonderful woman like you have. Well, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I wasn't done exploring. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe you can have it. Why don't you want it? It's delicious. He won't eat it because he hates anchovies. Really? That's why? That's so cute. I, I mean, it, it smells so raw. And hey, don't call me cute, okay? Cool would be fine. <laughs> Jeez, Helena's laughing too? Cause it's cute, right, Shirley? If we're talking cute, I think that would be you, Missy. Pardon me. You can have the rest of it. You won't be having any more? No. Gosh, Mr. Keith never smiles. What's got him in a tizzy? He's always that way. <laughs> what is he, a robot? <laughs> a robot detective? So he's Robocop? Ah! Don't be rude. Ah, uh, Robocop. I remember going to see that with my wife back in college. He may be that way now, but he used to be very funny, you know. He was always making me laugh. I told him he should consider being a comedian. Really? I don't believe it. A uh, comedian or not, he's still the laughing stock of some magazines. You know about that, don't you, miss? Really, man? Don't be rude. Keith, jeez, man, why don't you answer your call? I've been trying all day. What do you need? What do you do with the profiling info for the investigation? It's on your desk. What? It's not there. It's not. It's nowhere. It's completely and totally. Oh, there it is! Is that what you called 20 times over? I called because you went on vacation without saying a word to me. Tell me before you hand this stuff over. I mean, why in the world would you take a vacation in a hellish time like this? And please, answer your call. How many times do I have to tell you? Frankly, you should just clean up your desk. Hell, mine too. Papers are going to topple over. They'll start attracting flies. Man, I don't wanna. You do it, Keith. If you don't have it cleaned up once I'm back, I'll burn it all. Oh, there he goes again. Quick to threaten, aren't we, Keithy? Sorry, I'll clean up. You better. So what's the situation over there? Ah, well, you see... Ah, oh, hey! Hey, how's it going? Having a good trip? <sighs> Hand it back to Eric. I don't need you right now. Harsh, harsh. You don't need Eric neither, all right? Now, just hang up and enjoy your trip. At least tell me the situation over there. Situation, eh? Got no obligation to tell anyone who's not on the crime scene. Don't be a dick. Come on, dick. You gonna ignore your honey again? What, you wanna try and investigate this over the phone? Boy, what's the point of giving you a vacation anyway? I can sleep when I'm dead. I'm just saying, don't stick your neck into this. Plus, Eric's always relied on you too much. Now's the time to whip him into shape. Now, don't call again. Got it? I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Now go to hell. Same to you. So long. Kind of cool. Water on one side, trees on the other. Now back to exploring.
Wait, what's at the top of that ladder? Alright, so if I'm right... Yep. Kitchen, storeroom, brewery. Where's my wife? Well, did you take some good pictures? Yeah, they're decent. You'll show us more tomorrow, yeah? Is there anywhere that's off-limits? I haven't really asked Brendan about that. I'll check with him tomorrow. So I said I wanted to see Robocop, but my wife said she wanted to see Platoon, and we fought and fought. In the end, Robocop won, but things were a bit stormy after that. I know how that goes. Shirley and I never want to see the same movies. A lot of the time, we come to the theater together, but then go our separate ways. That one piece looks really good on you. I'm glad I bought it for you. <laughs> this one's my favorite, since you picked it out, of course. What's going on in here? Seriously, what is going on in here? It won't let me look at anything. Type of... I should have checked it earlier. Should have come in here earlier, too, instead of going to the library. Drew it was playing the piano. Hmm. I had to take a guess. I have no idea. Keith, you took your call? Yeah, for once. S sorry for for going back without you. I wanted to take a sh shower. I'm going to bed now. Good night. Why were you crying? Sit down. I want to talk for a bit. I wanted to tell you this once we got back from this trip, but it's too hard for me. We're at a very important crossroads, a kind of D-Day. <laughs> D-Day? For a decision, I guess, or divorce. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but I couldn't say it. You want a divorce? Do you hate me? No, that's not it. No, I couldn't hate you. It's not that. It's not you. It's a problem with me. With you? I'm going to bed. We'll finish this conversation when we get home. This feels like a conversation important enough to finish now. Good night. I love you. I told you, if I can just get some juicy tidbits, sales will shoot up for you, my man. Sheesh, didn't I tell you? I can't take photos of people. You can keep your money if you want pics of that rude-ass detective. Oh, yeah, his, his girl's all right. Oh, yeah, she's a good one. Gotta wonder why she's with a snooze fest like him. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Well, I'd love to see him keep his cool even when his girl's taken. Excuse me? We're going to tour the island tomorrow, right? I can't wait. That's right, but you'd better get to bed soon so you can wake up tomorrow, yes? What are you saying, Papa? You gotta enjoy both days and nights on vacation, right? We should talk lots. 
Why, we already spoke with the others plenty today, and I'm sure they're all going to sleep now. Hmm, but I didn't talk to you much, Papa. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> That's my selfish little girl. Hey, Papa, was Mama a good person? Did you and Mama get along like David and Shirley? Oh, absolutely. I've never met a person finer than your mother. You're starting to remind me of her yourself, though you'd need to be a bit more mature. So I can't be childish, huh? Now, Sophie, you can be whatever you want to be. No matter what, you're a precious family to me, a true treasure, and your mother as well, of course. <laughs> Got a text from Paul. Bring back souvenirs, you ass. What's wrong? Doesn't Helena remind you of your mother? Maybe so. There's kind of that air about her now that you mention it. But what's this all of a sudden? Never mind, I just had a thought. You don't look so good. Did something happen? Well, I've never been on a trip like this before. I don't know how I should act. It's different from traveling with friends, isn't it? Hey, just enjoy yourself. You won't have any fun worrying over everything. We'll make some great memories. What about your memories with me? We could always use more. I wonder how many more we need. Why don't we start now? Oh, look at the time. Better get to sleep. Hey, what about making memories? <laughs> <laughs> hey, David! Stop it! I'm ticklish! <laughs> Give me a break. Like, that's gonna be a fond memory. <laughs> Good night. Enjoy yourself tomorrow. Night. calls. Where's my phone? Well, we'll find out where the phone is next time. All right, we'll see you guys there.